Hello and uh, welcome, this is me once more, Chuck that Estus, and today we are trying a Poison Dagger Assassin. This was also a requested build, but I can't find a comment anymore, so please, if you recognize yourself, leave a, leave a comment and I'll pin you at the top. Let's jump right into the skill tree, starting with Venom, our main skill and principal source of damage, place 20 points into it. Then you want to put 20 points into Burst of Speed, this is our only source of attack speed and we are going to run at Mach 3. I also max Shadow Master, which will only help to bring some aggro away from us. She won't be able to catch up to us most of the time, but you may cast her right in the pack if needed. And finally, Venom Synergy Cobra Strike. And as for the stats, you want End of Strange with Equip Gear, End of Dexterity for Max Block and everything else into Vitality. I believe max block is a necessity for this build. We have mediocre faster rate recovery so it will greatly help to stay alive. I am using an act 1 fire rogue mercenary. I threw some random gear on her. Ideally the plan is to keep her alive as much as possible because you want that vigor aura. I also decided to give her a nice bow for the early freeze but she is always too far behind for it to actually help. Anyway. Alright, we have some pre-buff gear. The only thing that matters for pre-buff is to have as much plus skills as possible. Starting with Shadow Dancer Boots, giving plus 2 to Shadow Discipline. Then 2 Plagues with plus 4 to Venom. It could be plus 5 but I got unlucky with the rolls. The important part for the amulet is plus 2 skills and high strange to equip Shadow Dancer. The Elm is Steel Shade, 2 skills, Poison Facet, Faster Blockade. This Elm is amazing. Natalia's Armor for the plus 3 to Shadow Discipline, Arak Bell for the plus 1 to all skills, 2 rings with plus 1 to all skills, and finally the gloves are a Venom Grip for the increased poison damage. Then to our main gear. Storm Chill, this is simply an all around no brainer, this chill is busted and gives it all. The dagger is Venom Runeward as it gives poison dagger all skill, meaning that yes we can use poison dagger and the cloud it produces applies Venom. Holy shit, this is crazy. The belt is Verdungo, reduce damage, high vitality, water walk, increase block rate, and some HP. Saras and Chance Amulet. To be honest, I'm not sure what could be better here, but I will go with this one. The main armor is obviously Bremble for the insane poison damage it, it gives. And closing up with a Raven Frost for the cannot be frozen. And this is our gear. So let's get right into it. We are going with the pre buffs and buckle up because this is going to be insane and you wouldn't want to lose your pants along the way. I will start the run at exactly 425 and see how fast we can get to Diablo Murder while killing as much monsters as possible. The worst part of this is the rogue, she just can't keep up with us and we lose our aura every once in a while. So check that timer and try not to fall off your chair. Silence! Silence. Silence.
death can save you from me. So there you have it, 2 minutes and 10 seconds. If you are unsatisfied with this speed, get on your knees and clench your butt because daddy is coming for you. And he is a bit disappointed. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have suggestions or you will want to see more of this build, leave a comment and I'll do something about it. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching and until then, see you next time. Bye.